And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Karina control. All right, we got our last two decks of rank up Sunday where uh, we're playing probably the two best decks in Legends of Runeterra, starting with Karina control. Um, this deck kind of has it all and it can be pretty aggressive because of Elise and then pairing that with like Frenzied Skitter and Brood Awakening. You can just have games like where you have a bunch of spiders with those three cards, you know, maybe backed by like Vile Feast and uh, put some, you know, some good aggressive starts on the opponent. But then you also have a lot of good control elements, you know, having Withering Whale and Static Shock and Brood Awakening. You're keeping your opponent from going wide. It's really hard to be an aggro deck with uh, units and attacking with units and, and be able to get around Withering Whale, Brood Awakening, Static Shock. And then even just removal with life gain, like Grass of the Undying. And then cheap removal, Thermogenic Beam, Mystic Shot, get excited. Like, that's just tough to deal with all of that, to be honest. So uh, you, ha you have that. But then also against Control and just other mid-range decks, you have just a great top end with Commander Ledros finishing out games. And then four sweepers with Karina Veraza and Ruination. This deck kind of has it all. It really does. Um... There's not really like a, any specific weakness to it, um, so so yeah, let's let's uh, let's go ahead and get started here. All right, we need to change our board. Let's go to the Hex Tech Lab. Let's do that. Sorry, Gloomtooth, you're out of here. Um, you haven't you didn't do any good work. Let's get Silverwing. We're down to 2,500. Our rank up Sunday stream has not been successful so far. But we're about to play probably the two best decks with Karina Control, then Ezreal Karma. Oh, we get Ezreal Karma. I feel like Ezreal Karma is... Oh, it's Ezreal Heimerdinger, or Karma Heimerdinger. Never mind. I was going to say that Ezreal Karma is probably the... It's probably the matchup that I'd want to see the least with Karina Control, just because we, you know, obviously we can be a really slower deck as well, and then um, just the Ezreal combo can just kill you from 20 out of nowhere. <laughs> no 20 we're at we're ranked number 2500 now that this is the lowest i've ever been ever of course you would. we started in the like 21 or 21 or 22s today I must get out of here. we we ended yesterday at uh, like 23 something and I played some today with like the Callista, the Fearsome Callista deck and, and ranked up some with that deck and I was really excited to play it today. But didn't do as well on stream, obviously. If they want to go Barrier, we'll have Vile Feast. If they just have like Twin Disciplines, then... That's too bad for me. Perfect. And of course I have more removal for Heimerdinger, so that's why I don't feel bad about using that. Um, Cause obviously I need to kill Heimerdinger or Karma. Need to kill those this turn. And I'm not going to just play Brood Awakening and then let them play Heimerdinger or Karma. It's not going to happen. Hmm. I think just the same thing, honestly.
guess they're trying to get to the late game for karma sake. Still have a grasp. <laughs> yeah, we have gotten to seven, number seven. That was the that was the highest rank. Yeah, we got meme tier Monday tomorrow, so it wasn't really planning on gaining rank tomorrow. We're supposed to rank up on Sundays to be able to pay and rank for the Mondays. That's what we're supposed to do. not playing anything they must just have a hand that has you know they must just not have the champions in hand or they're really just being that patient to wait until they had 10 mana before playing karma they're not pairing karma with shadow isles so they don't have they don't have a as much life gain potential. Behold, my master. Three. So they're down to three. You can still have the one mana spell to gain life. That's an Ionia, right? Pretty sure. That, yeah, that's Ionia. I'm gonna miss a shot myself first. All right, first one, a pretty quick one. Score for to control. Pretty painless. Twenty-four fifty-two. We only go up fifty spots. Forty-nine spots. We need to go up higher. Well, here we go. The Green control is going to pull us back up. Elise is the only champion. Never keep Karina's and Ledros's. Just always mulligan. They're nine mana cards, and there's a bunch of them in our deck. Never keep them in your hand. Always mulligan them. You'll, you'll draw more. You don't have to worry about it. If you know your opponent is playing a super slow deck, and you know that you're not going to be under any pressure at all, then you can keep a Ledros. I guess that's like the only time. I do like how Thermogenic Beam kills Elise. They go turn 2 Elise. We get to turn 2 Thermogenic Beam. That was a big reason why I kept it. Um, Arachnoid Horror, we'll still, we'll still beam it up. 
We'll have Scotty deal with that. Pass, turn. Don't get the spider. Spider would have been nice to have with the brood awakening. That was kind of my plan. But of course, this is probably a withering whale back. What you got over here? Prankster. That's what we're doing these days? We're pranking? Come on. Don't you know what's going on in the world these days? Nobody's doing pranks these days. So the good thing about Hapless Aristocrat is we get to discard it to get excited. That's the best thing the card does. Tomorrow you should meme... You should meme the meme and play tier one decks again. Now we have some good ideas uh, for meme tier money. We're I'm gonna be trying to make a Poro deck and a Catastrophe deck. Those are the two that I got so far. If anybody has any ideas that they want me to play for Meme Tier Monday, those are the two that I was planning on for tomorrow. I haven't made them yet. I was going to spend tomorrow doing that. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything else written down. That's Those are the two so far. Hmm, no Withering Whale. No Static Shock. Nothing. Alright, hapless aristocrat, I guess just go out and do something, I guess. Sorry, Ledros. <laughs> yeah, see that? Glimpse Beyond is so good. Dang, Glimpse Beyond is so good. My card has been killing me. Didn't were we playing Glimpse Beyond last? We had Glimpse Beyond with the Glista deck, right? We never, we never drew that card. That that was in our deck, right? Did I just overlook it and never put Glimpse Beyond in the deck? No, we had three of them in the deck. Okay. Yeah, there, there was, they were in there. going to ruin our opponent's plans. They're all dead. Spiders got squished. No. They're back. Next turn is turn eight. We need it to be turn nine for Ledros. I don't know what the Dross is, but that's what this, you know, Commander of the Dross. What do y'all think? What is the Dross? 
Commander Ledros. What? 13-13. Cheating. Now the glimpse wasn't a four for one. We did discard two and they drew two, but they also spent the glimpse and spent the card that they sacrificed. So, so it was like a four for two. But yeah, they were they were up two cards on the exchange. the droves to you. Oh, I have this crawling sensation that this is not good for me. Get him, Commander. Get him. Blade of the droves. Maybe it's Dross. Blade of the Dross. What is this? They're just gonna win? Right now? That's an atrocity. Shouldn't be able to do that. We were gonna do that. Dang, back to $24.99. On sale, twenty four ninety nine. Come here, pup. Pup. Come here. Puppy. Puppy. Nope, not good at jumping, huh? All right, Ledras is gone. Elise Timo, we'll keep the rest. <laughs> Another 4,998 games to rank one, and yep. After we went one to one there, we gained, we <laughs> went up one. So yeah, we just need, every two games, we'll go up one rank. So yeah, we're only 4,998 to, more to go. We're, we're basically rank one. I like how excited and how happy Teemo sounds over just throwing some puff caps out there. You know? Teemo's like, puff caps! Like, just all excited about it. First one's free. We're too fearsome. Too, too fearsome for your casks. Actually, a pretty good. That's pretty witty right there. You break it, you buy it. Talking about those Costa casks. So, you know, you kill the Costa cask, you take one damage. Pretty good. 
pretty awesome. Oh no, we already got a puff cap. There's nothing to fear. We already got a puff cap. I agree, Silverwing. Okay, okay. Let's attack. Oh, we, we can attack with this spooky spider because we're bringing another one along anyway. So, to, like, Elise is probably going to block one of them. Doesn't really matter which one. See, sometimes this control deck can just go pretty aggro, you know, and then use, like, burn spells to do more damage. Oh, this isn't going to work. It worked. It shouldn't have worked. If they just cast both Mushroom Clouds, they would have leveled up. Oh, no, and now they're going to do that? They could have just leveled up Teemo and made Teemo a 2-2. But... Why do they just... What? Why do they just do that in response? And still have their other team out in play? My true beauty is the Try to hook him with these spiders. Everybody else gets glimpsed beyond but me. Everyone else is glimpsed beyond and I'm I'm just over here jealous. I wanna glimpse beyond. Jelly. So the plan is we have a Vile Feast for one of these things. And we're going to do some damage. Would have helped, you know, Ledros, Veraza get excited. Would have helped all those things. That was the plan. Plan didn't really work out. Just have the two cards left. Yeah, Ledros is pretty GG. You think it's Ledros this next turn over Karina?
So they're at seven. Ledros does four, puts him down to three. But Karina... I kind of think it's Karina. Karina kills the blocker. I mean, they, they're not going to scoop. They still have, like, the out of me having all these pupcaps. We do get to burn a bunch of cards that may have had pupcaps. Oh, wow. That was a good card to draw. Yeah, that was pretty good. Stay away from that switch. So many They're just looking for burn spells. Nope. Come on, no puff cap. Yeah. No puff cap. That was a good vengeance. Basically need this get excited to resolve and them not gain any life. Got one card. Yes. Get excited. Let's go. Let's go. Get excited. Getting pumped. We need to get back to, to triple digits. We need to get out of, you know, pin number territory. Karma, Heimer. I mean, Vengeance does kill Karma and Heimer. So is Ruination, but... Oh, no. What is this? Our draws have been ruined. Oh, gosh. What are all these nine drops? We've drawn three cards. They're all nine drops? Are you kidding me? If y'all know what luck is, that is not that. Assassin, but 
I did not shoot the Heimer Dinger. This is where we're in a really tough spot. Like, we have to have the three mana for Get Excited for Heimer Karma. But that means we don't get to Brood Awakening. Which I would love to be Brood Awakening. But we just can't. Heimer and Karma are too good. We just can't. So we got to just pass. Only card that saves it is deny. No. Cease. No. Do not question our resolve. Ruination was rejected. And now I am dejected. I don't think we win this anymore. We'll see, but we, we can't kill Karma. Like, I, I can try to get excited, but that's never going to work. They 100% have other protection. My best chance was that they didn't have Deny, that they had other protection, but that wasn't Deny. That was my best chance. That's why we went with the Ruination last turn. There's a chance they don't have another deny. Right? We will not stand by. fast speed That was a pretty aggressive attack. They just had there for sure. I truly did not need that aggressive of an of an attack. Well, I want to play Karina Veraza. I also want to be able to kill more Karmas and more Elises. Yeah, no. With with Static Shock, you can like because I've done this before. I've had an opponent Static Shock two of my creatures, and then me sacrifice both creatures, and both creatures be gone, and they still draw a card. So Static Shock is still as if you cast it, it still draws the card. Um, I was certainly disappointed to learn that. 
before, but it will still draw. And I thought that doing the, the second point of damage to the Heimerdinger could have more uh, important implications than one damage to them. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty grindy game. We could definitely draw one of our three Ledroses. That wouldn't be bad. I would take that. Yeah, so even if the damage fizzles, you still get to draw it. With Static Shock. There's not, so there's not really risk to playing it. You, obviously, Heimerdinger, you are the problem. Like asking me what seems to be the problem. You're sitting there with your smug face. I don't get to Karina or get excited. Like, I can't do both. I want to both. What would you do, puppy? What would you do here? Would you play Karina Varaza? What would you do? You get excited? Yes, Harvey, you don't have to get super jealous just because I'm petting puppy for a little bit. Yeah, you'd wait for them to be you'd wait for them to go wide and play a whole bunch of turrets and stuff before you played Karina Veraza and Ruination. That's pretty smart, puppy. That's pretty smart. Harvey. Harvey. Stop. Harvey. Harvey. You have to stop clawing up my chair. No. No scratch. No. No. More puppy. Oh, look at you. All right, Karina Veraza time. All right, we just burninated five cards. What do we burninate? Um, Vile Feast, Get Excited, Hapless Aristocrat, at least Withering Whale. Those were not, like those were good cards to burninate. Oh, no, I didn't attack. No, I meant to attack. No. It cannot hide. <laughs> Can you explain why you and your dog don't have matching ties, please? I mean, it's really my fault. Pup already had her red tie picked out. That's her fashionable neckwear. And, and I could have, you know, I, I could have uh, gone with a red tie. And I didn't. I more picked out something that looked good with the shirt that I was wearing. But that's just my bad. You know, it's simple as that. Where are these Ledroses? We have three Ledros. 14 cards left. We haven't seen one. Where are they at? Whoa, that's a sub! Street Cafe! Six awesome months. Let's get some hype in the chat for Street Cafe. Getting that resub going. They really want to bounce their Shadow Assassin. What do you think, pup? Do I have Vengeance? Or let him have it? I think I let him have it. 
All right, four out of five for our sub goal. Only need one more to hit that. There's Commander Ladros. No, it's not. Oh man, I was calling it. I had the, my called shot. It didn't work. Do not test my patience. You cannot escape. Got like a big double chin. But. So they've played three Flash of Brilliances? No, I guess that's gotta be the third. So now they have three Flash of Brilliance. So we know they have three six mana spells, six plus mana spells in hand. We haven't seen anything with those spells yet. Hey, Walker getting the gifted sub. We hit a sub goal. Boom. Thank you, Rex. Santa Rex gifting out the sub. Awesome. All right, hit the sub goal today. So let's mark that down. Block. All right, so that's our second sub goal. Since our, our last 12 hour stream, when we get to eight more, we're gonna be doing another 12 hour stream. No, I, I know, I wish Walker, a lot of people ask me that if I've played the Final Fantasy VII remake, I wish. But I, I just don't have, I don't have a PS4. And you can only play it on PS4. Uh, I'm burning five cards here. There better not be Ledroses. All right, one Ledros. So we have six cards left. Two of them are Ledros. been playing very many karmas it's crazy we've never never drew a ledros the card that like wins this matchup never drew one we're down to four cards left would have certainly won this matchup if we would have drawn one. Alright, so they got rid of the Stand United and a Death Mark. Finally. The Blade of the Dross. Is it because I'm making fun of your French name, Commander? Is that why you're you're hiding? That's probably it. Yeah, Sternberg, we're playing, it's it's rank up Sundays, so we're playing like tier one decks. And yeah, finishing with probably the two best in in Legends of Runeterra with Karina Control, then Ez Karma. Two, three. We got meme tier Monday tomorrow. We're supposed to, you know, gain a bunch of ranks to help us out since we're gonna, gonna maybe lose them tomorrow. But so far, I have not been executing our plan. Poor execution on my part. See a Karina and Elise Thresh Trendemir. I mean, Elise means I want Withering Whale. I'll keep one whale. 
Also, we're supposed to keep both whales. Yeah, yeah, Legends of Runeterra is pretty awesome. Hope you check it out at Street Cafe. Later on this month, coming up, we got nine more days. We're going to have a new set out, and then in 11 more days, it's going to be on mobile the end of the month. We're going to be able to play Legends of Runeterra on the phone. That is going to be awesome. I must get out of here. Hey, these Karina games have been... At least the first one was kind of fast. We won the first one in eight minutes. They're not always super slow. No, I haven't played it on the phone at all yet. Awakening or whale? Whale. There are some words that are more fun to say than others. Whale is a fun word to say. I like that word a lot. Whale. But I do feel bad, you know, for this card, Withering Whale, that there's just like, you know, a huge creature in the ocean that's withering. It's Named Withering Whale. Feel bad about that. No yeah, whales are pretty huge. Okay. Shtiv in, in chat says it's super slick on mobile. You have the Android APK, so you've been trying it out. Nice. The main problem is fat fingering and dragging burst spells by accident. Yeah, that, that'll be a little bit of a problem because you won't be able to take it back, so you'll just cast it. Uh, this Thresh is going to kind of level. It's going to kind of level. Mobile Edition's not out everywhere. It's just... Yeah, it's not out for like another eight days. It's, it's available, I think, in Singapore, but Android has an APK which means something to people that have androids, most likely, where you can play it. <laughs> Rex says, I fat finger the burst spells on PC, so it's whatevs. I really don't want to Ven take my turn to Vengeance Thrash, and then they play Ruination. That would be a nightmare. But that's my only play. Man, we're about to be 3-2. and two. Oh, I'm definitely going to be playing it on mobile, yeah. I mean, I won't be streaming it on mobile, but as far as, like, practicing and, like, building decks and stuff like that, like, I'll, I'll definitely be getting some mobile play. I can just, you know, like, at night, whenever I, I lay down at night, like, for, for bed... I can get some games in, or like right whenever I wake up. You know how you don't want to like get out of bed right away. Well, I guess I kind of have to get out of bed because of this this girl right here. She jumps on me and, and is like, "Go feed me, dude." Scuttlegeist is ridiculous. One mana, five five fearsome. This is what we were supposed to be doing with our Callista deck earlier. Dude, our, my opponent crushed us. Yeah, that's game. Double Scuttlegeist. They had a 
at all. Alright, I'm sorry. Puppy has see puppy has her, her head on my arm, so I can't can't raise my arm to I can't even reach the mouse anymore. Puppy has to get I have to get to the mouse. Sorry pup. Uh, I have to move. There you go, now she's just putting her head on the on the chair. That's that's better. Okay, well, Karina Control, we went three and two. Um, not the best record, but, you know, for for today, I'll take it. You know, I will take it for today. Uh, really impressive showing from our opponent's last deck. I was hoping to do some of that myself with the last deck that we we're playing, but it didn't work out. Anyway, um, yeah, not too much to say about the deck. This is definitely one of the very best decks in Legends of Runeterra for sure. But that doesn't mean that you just, you know, you win 100% of your matches. That's that's the thing about this game. It's a very balanced game, and even the, the best decks lose a good amount of time. So, anyway, that's it here for Karina Control. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there and leave a comment. Uh, really like seeing those comments and you know I'll respond if you got any questions or anything let me know all right but that's it here for uh, Karina control so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video